I am going to be showing you how I style my hair. And I have been styling it slightly differently recently. My hair is a little bit longer. I did just get it trimmed, but this has been my favorite length so far. I have an angled A-line cut and I just have a hair length now that is so flexible. I can pull it up, I can leave it down. And recently I've been styling it in a middle part with these waves and on Instagram and in the comments of my videos, I've been getting so many questions about how I'm styling my hair, what products I use, how I create these waves in general. So I am going to walk you through the process and show you everything that I use. We're starting with me almost just freshly out of the shower. Like I had been out of the shower for a little bit. Enough time to get dressed and all that stuff. Now here we go. All right, so I just got out of the shower not too long ago. I'm also still waking up, so. <laughs> My hair has been air drying for a little bit, so it's kind of damp. I haven't brushed it or anything, and this just kind of helps any kind of natural wave come through a little bit more. Now I'm gonna be using the Herbivore Sea Mist, and this is the lavender one. They also have a coconut one, and I don't know how that smells, but I'm assuming like coconut and kind of like tropical-y, but I like the lavender. I'm gonna spray this all over my hair. I really like this spray because it's not heavy and sticky like a lot of other sea salt sprays. This really makes you feel like you just went to the beach and it waved your hair a little bit. Plus it smells like lavender and not smelly seawater. I have a mirror behind the camera, so if I'm like doing this, that's what I'm looking at, trying to see my hair. Okay, so I think I'll just spray a little bit more. I also like to scrunch my hair up just ever so slightly like that. Now I part my hair and recently I have been enjoying the center part again. So I'm just gonna do that. I don't like to make it super perfect or straight. So I just divide it in half. This is so easy. I'm just doing a regular braid on each side. So with this braiding part, it actually works out a little bit better if your hair isn't soaking wet because it's easier to braid your hair and your hair won't be slipping out of your fingers as much. And also because I let my hair sit in braids for a little bit, if they're soaking wet, it just takes a really, really long time for them to get dry. So it's actually better to start this off if your hair is kind of like half wet half dry. And then I come in and loosen up the braid just ever so slightly, give a little zhuzh up here, and I tuck it behind my ear because that creates a nice little wave right around my eye area. And I also just tuck my hair a lot, so it actually helps with the waving process. Now the other side. Just gonna do a little touch up. Oh, where did my, oh, there it is. Okay, so loosen up the braid a little bit like that. Tuck it behind my ear. Give it a little zhuzh. And just because of the way my hair is cut, I have shorter pieces in the back that sometimes fall out. Not a big deal. So now I am just going to do my makeup and drink my coffee, eat the rest of my breakfast, and wait for my braids to dry a little bit, and then I'll be back. Okay, it's been a while. I had a phone call that was about an hour long, and then I also did my makeup as well. So my hair should be fairly dry at this point. I'm going to take my braids out. carefully. <laughs> These tiny little hair ties really just want to stay in here. I'm going to just carefully undo the braids. I kind of like to shake them out so that way I'm not disrupting anything too much. I'm going to come back in with a little bit more 
of the sea mist. Just do some spritzes all around, a little bit of scrunching. And then I like to tuck all of this behind my ears and bring this forward. I kind of gauge how wet my hair is. And interestingly, this side is way drier than this side. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer, just like 10 more minutes, just so my hair can dry a bit more. There are a couple of ways that I do this hairstyle. First option is this, tucked behind my ears like this, and that's pretty much it. All I would add to this is a little bit of this texturizing and volumizing powder from Batiste. So I'll add this right at my roots and it really just helps to volumize my hair and it also adds a little bit of texture because I'll just take the extra and put it in the ends. And then I will also use this Kerastase Volume in Powder Spray. I really love both of these products. I'm actually almost out of this because I use it so much. And that would pretty much be it. I would just let my hair continue to dry completely since it is just a little bit damp here and there. That is like my, I have things to do, I'm not dilly-dallying or trying to worry about making anything perfect. So that gets me doing things and out the door a little bit more quickly. Now this is where the almost heat-free comes in. If I have a little extra time, I will sometimes come in with my curler slash straightener combo tool that I have here. So this is the Kardashian Beauty two-in-one curler and straightener. So this is what it looks like. You can control the temperature over here, which I really like. It's dual voltage. I really like this because it provides flexibility, so I have the option to use it as a flat iron, but then there is an option for smooth and curl. You can move it over to curl and this will lock together. So then you can actually use this as a curling wand if you want. And you can also use this as a straightener that curls. You're gonna see me do this so you can see how it works, but it gives you three different ways that you can use this as a styler and I really love it. And I've been getting a lot of questions about it, especially after my packing video. So I wanted to just share it with you guys so you guys could see what I'm using. All right, so I just have to let this side of my hair dry a little bit more before I put any heat on it. So I'm just gonna wait for that to happen. I think we're good to go here. So you can see right now that the waves are just kind of messy and I do really like this look and I go out like this all the time. Like if I wasn't heat styling, this is how it would look. So, you know, I'm cool with that. But sometimes I also want to clean it up a little bit and I want it to look a little bit more styled. So I will bring in the heat. I'm gonna use this as like a straightener that curls your hair. So I start about halfway down and then I curl away from my face. And I just get like a little wave in there. And if I have to come back and go over it again, I will, but just to get it started. But I'm not holding it for a long time. I'm really just moving it through my hair quickly. And I only do the front as well. I don't touch anything in the back. So really just kind of like the front three sections or so. Tuck that behind my ears. Then I'll do the other side. By the way, just had a look and this straightener curler thingamabob is normally $90 and it's on sale for 54 right now. So just saying. I don't know why this side is not wanting to curl today. Of course, when I have to do it on camera, my hair is like, mm -mm, no thanks, not today. There we go. That one was more like how it should be. 
for some reason this front piece is like not gonna cooperate right now. All right, so that's kind of it. If I see any other just like random pieces that I wanna curl, sometimes I'll curl those, but I kind of just stick to the front. There we go. That's more what I what I want. Now I'm gonna put all the products in my hair. So I am going to start off with the Batiste powder that I mentioned. Just put a little bit in my hands like that. By the way, because this can be a little bit trickier to find in the States, unless you're ordering online, the Schwarzkopf powder is really good too. So it's really similar to this. So I just rub it between my fingers and then I just kind of zhuzh my roots with it. And you can't see anything going into your hair, but you definitely feel it. Like you kind of just want to give yourself a little scalp massage and it just plumps your hair up. And I like that it just kind of makes things a little bit grittier and messier. Like I am not trying to get my hair super smooth. I like the frizz. Instead of trying to fight it, I work with it. And then I just kind of take, you'll feel it on your hands. It's like gritty. I just work it into the ends of my hair. And then the last thing that I do is I use this spray, shake it up. I focus it mostly around the roots and then just a little bit on the ends because this works as like a texturizing spray, but it also has pretty good holding power for my hair. So it kind of doubles as hairspray as well. But if I want extra hold, I'll just use a separate hairspray on top of it. But most of the time I'm fine with this. As the day goes on, because I continuously tuck behind my ears, I get a nice little wave right there. And this hairstyle lasts me two to three days because I put dry shampoo in my hair. Before I go to bed, I will put the Bumble and Bumble Pret a powder in my roots and right at the nape of my neck, around here, around my ears, all the places where I tend to get really greasy and oily and it works overnight to just soak up any oil. So that way when I wake up in the morning, I still have these nice waves. I don't have to style my hair at all. Maybe I'll just run my fingers through it and I'm good to go. My hair isn't greasy. And then I'll just do it again for another night. And then usually by that point, I have to wash my hair after the second night of doing this. But really you don't need that much. A little bit goes a long way and I like that this hairstyle will last me a couple days and it's also really nice when you get to the end because you can pull it up into like a textured ponytail or textured updo and all of the product just makes it easier to pull your hair up. That is it for my right now go-to hairstyle that I'm really loving because it's pretty low maintenance. It allows me to be doing other things while I'm waiting for my hair to set, like getting phone calls done or work done or making breakfast, um, doing my makeup, things like that, that I would already be doing. I also really like the flexibility it provides me because I can go completely no heat and just have some nice waves or I can touch it up a little bit with a little bit of heat styling. I hope you guys found this tutorial easy and helpful and hopefully you were able to take something away from it. If you try this out yourself, please tag me on Instagram or send me a photo on Twitter because I would love to see it. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I have more tutorials and beauty and fashion and other kinds of videos coming your way. Bye guys.